guys, we're here with Vizier. We're going to bring him into a couple unkillable clan boss teams. I've got him decked out right now in a retaliation set along with some counterattack accessories. I think this is really strong for Vizier because we're going to lock out his A2 and his A3. So he's only doing his three hit A1. And anytime we can counterattack, we can extend those debuffs. These counterattack accessories are really strong for any of your clan boss teams. This is my third functional unkillable clan boss team. They all work. I'll show you them in just a minute. If you cannot book Vizier out, he's going to whiff a lot. So you just test it. Try him out without books and see how it works out. Is he extending those debuffs? Because even at my 50% chance per hit to extend, he's not always doing it. We've got three hits here to each time to extend that. So if you can book it later on down the line, then try to. But test it out first. See if it's working out with you for you without the books. And then for Masteries, we want Giant Slayer. We're going to lock out his A2 and his A3, so we want this Giant Slayer to do as much damage as possible. And we want a Counter-Attack to get even more damage. That's why those Counter-Attack accessories and the Retaliation set for him, I feel, is very strong. You'll Counter-Attack, you'll get that additional damage, and you'll extend those debuffs. Come down here for an additional chance to Counter-Attack when we lose life. And then we're going to do more damage because we're going to be at very low health. And then we're going to try to get some health back so we can, of course, counterattack. Then again, when we lose that life, and the ones you can't see right now are Kill Streak and then, of course, Giant Slayer. And the gear I have on him is just a mixed bag. I've got attack, HP, attack again. The only set we have here is our retaliation set, and then we've got our two counterattack accessories. We're going to do Dark Kale. We're going to do Geomancer. We're going to do Farrakh and the Fat. Again, these guys don't have the best gear in the world. Look at this. We've just got a mixed bag of gear. I just wanted to get to the speeds, and the speeds are very reasonable. We're going to do a two main eater comp at 215 and 220 speed. Then we're going to have the two DPS at 273 to 278, and then we've got one DPS at 168. I'm pretty sure that's the speeds. I'll look at that in just a minute, and I'll leave it all down below in this video. It's all from Deadwood Jedi's website. I'll leave a link to his website as well going over this team comp. Very easy, very accessible for all of you guys. This is Dark Kale. Dark Kale has no good set on him. He does have critical damage, attack, attack. So we're trying to, of course, always get damage. I feel like Dark Kale and retaliation with counterattack accessories is really the play here. Because I don't have additional counterattack. Dark Kale is Dark Elves. Vizier is Dark Elves as well. So I don't have any more accessories to put on him. But counterattacking with Dark Kale. Because we're going to try to lock out his A2 and A3. We're always going to lock out his A2. But if you can lock out the A3. Which means you're going to have to micromanage to get up these poisons. And then hit auto. You might have to do that to get a little additional damage if you want to. I'm kind of lazy, so I always lock out this A2 because we do not need this. We don't need the decreased accuracy, and we don't need to extend the debuffs. We want this A, this three-hit A1 to hit as often as possible. Not only to bust these poisons and the burn, but we want that because we want that Giant Slayer damage. And we only want him to do this A3 to get up the initial poisons, and then hopefully we have them both locked out, and Vizier can come in there and extend everything. If your Vizier is not extending it, and it's not working out and you're tired of micromanaging it, just lock out the A2. You'll be good with that. Who else do we have here? We've got Farrakh in the fat. He is not in any kind of insane gear either. By the way, Dark Kale has the same masteries as Vizier because he's doing the three hits on that A1. We've got Farrakh in the fat. He comes down here to a War Master and just a mixed bag of gear. Let's get into these runs. Let's look at what we have here for our Clan Boss teams, and then we'll go over four different runs and see what the damage is that we can get from this. This is the team I have. So these are all functional clan boss teams, and I even want to build a budget one tomorrow. I've got an additional main eater, which will make five main eaters. I've got tons of pain keepers, and we'll make a main eater pain keeper budget unkillable with Vizier, Farrakh and the Fat, and Geomancer. See what kind of damage we can do. These guys don't have a lot of good gear. So whatever kind of damage we're going to do, the gear is not anywhere near as good as the two main eaters I have here. And of course, it's not anywhere near as good as the Seeker gear or Fusan gear or Draco Morph, any of this kind of stuff. And of course, if you have a Draco Morph, yeah, bring it in with your budget unkillable if you want to. But I want to do this without any other legendary. I want to show that we can get that Vizier for the 111 shards and that we can do this. And if you have any kind of cool team comps that are using rares or epics or something that we didn't think about that you're getting a one key on Ultra Nightmare, let us know down below. Let's get into these runs. 
Geomancer and Dark Kale first with this two man eater comp. As long as you're not going up against a Spirit Affinity clan boss, the rotation is very simple. If you're going up against Spirit Affinity, look down below. I'll show you that rotation. Again, that rotation is just copied from Deadwood Jedi's website, and I'll leave a link to this whole team so you can go over there and check it out. It's very easy to do if you're not going up against Spirit Affinity. Just look over here at the turn count. Once you see turn count two, your fastest man eater is going to do his A3. And once you see turn count four, your slower man eater is going to do the A3. And that's it. You're done. It's going to line up. It's going to get in sync. And you're going to be completely fine. Normally, you'd wait to do Geomancer's A3, the burn, after the stun, I believe, or at least one turn. Here, you don't have to worry about it. Put up all your debuffs because your Vizier is going to extend them all. And we're going to get that damage. This team only works with Vizier in it. We cannot run Dark Kale and Geomancer together ever in any kind of other team because Dark Kale explodes Geomancer's burn. And without that burn up, Geomancer can't do this mass amount of damage that you see. We have to have a burn applied by Geomancer to get that damage. So without Vizier here, and we tried this, we were like, okay, let's take out Vizier and throw in Frozen Banshee to get all these poisons up. For Dark Kale to take care of, along with that burn from Geomancer, but he was eating off that burn so fast that Geomancer couldn't keep up with putting it back on, and then we were missing out on way too much damage. It, it was much, much lower. So the two, these two together, really only work. You could have, of course, put Venomage in place of Dark Kale, but it's not going to do as much damage. You could put anybody in place of Dark Kale right here. Farrakh and the Fat, Fane, bring Fane in for that decreased defense. I think Farrakh and the Fat is probably. One of the best people to bring in here. Really, he is amazing. Farrakh and the Fat, Geomancer, Vizier, and Two Man Eater, or Budget Man Eater with Man Eater and Painkeeper, looks like the best key out there, the best team out there to one key. So there's our rotation. We are set in it. We're getting our debuffs up. And then Dark Kale is doing counterattacks. He's doing his normal hits. He's doing his A1, three hits as much as possible. We got Vizier doing the same exact thing. It's uh it takes till now to get in sync we hit auto but now it's actually in sync i know you saw vizier get stunned there deadwood jedi makes reference to that in the video and on the website but it happens but it's fine we are fully in sync i'm gonna jump forward here quite a bit we see all the debuffs up we're at turn 17 look my guy's booked out he's at a 50 percent chance to extend debuffs and the debuffs don't look that high because kale is really taking some of these poisons off and the burn lower if you look at the highest turn count which is where kale's not depleting something would be the weaken and decrease accuracy and still it still seems lower we're at turn count uh 40 now they're not that high dark kale dark kale does some serious work really he does some good damage on the clan boss all right we're at the very end we're on turn 49 let's see what we get We've got the stacks up. The stacks don't look that impressive, but we don't need high numbers on the stacks. We just need to make sure that they were always there. And we got our last reflect, 65.68 million. And Geomancer pulled in 29 million, which is insane. Dark Kale pulling in 25 million. Vizier and the Maneaters are very low. They don't have amazing gear. Actually, Vizier doesn't have the counterattack retaliation gear on right now. You're going to see Vizier do more damage. Don't worry. We're going to ramp that up. He is going to do more. We're going to do an exact copy of this run again. This is the same exact team, except we have a retaliation set on Vizier. And look at those debuffs. Look how thick they are. They are going. That means Vizier's attacking way more often. And hopefully, he's going to bring in some more damage. Let's go down here. I think it's going to be about the same, though. But with retaliation, you can see. Look at those debuffs. They are on there. We're up at turn 40, 50. So 65.7, almost exactly the same. We've got Geomancer doing less for some reason. Vizier did do more. This man eater did a little bit more, but they've got bad gear. Guys, we can one key with this very easily. I'll show you a picture of a one key at the end of this video for a budget unkillable. We're doing two runs now with Geomancer and Farrakh in the fat. We're bringing increased defense, which we didn't have before. The fat man is going to bring that with our weekend that we already have from our Geomancer. So we're going to get some more damage overall for our team. Plus, he's doing a pull in, which is going to mean Vizier is going to do more. There it goes. We get that increased crit rate. We get that increased critical damage. Farrakhan is really a legendary. He's so good. He, he's almost he's better than Krila Witch Arm in certain areas of the game, especially for the clan boss. He's just really amazing. 
he ups the damage of this run. He really does. So the same setup, right? Turn two, turn four. We just go with it. We bring it down. We've got Vizier coming in here, extending the debuffs, decreased defense. Unfortunately, we've got a decreased attack and a decreased accuracy. Nothing we could do about that. Sometimes the decreased attack gets up there. When you have Vizier on your team, he's going to extend whatever lands. Those could be poisons, and those can make a difference whether you one key or not, depending on your gear. Maybe you have strong enough gear, you don't have to worry about it, and that's what I want to build. I want to build the budget unkillable, but I'm going to take some of my strong gear, and we're going to get a one key. We are definitely going to get a one key with that. Let's look at the damage here. We're going to play this same exact team, except we're going to have Maneater and Painkeeper is our unkillable. We'll have Geomancer, Frock in the Fat, and Vizier. We'll do that tomorrow. All right, turn 20. He's extending like crazy. Vizier's got that retaliation set on. And he's getting those additional hits. So his damage should be decent. Nothing crazy. And turn count 50. Look at this. So close. So close. 68.6 .6 million. Geomancer at 26. Vizier now. Look at that damage. 11 million. Farrakhan at 15. Because he was doing pull-in, right? Farrakhan's bringing everybody in with that pull-in. We've got that decreased defense. Two man-eaters upping their damage as well. Almost a one key. We can one key. This gear on him is completely garbage. The gear on him, I don't know. We could we can increase these two. We can increase their attack and critical damage easily. If you want to run a Fury set for 25% additional damage when your HP is down low, you could run that as well. If you really critical damage sets, we could have critical damage sets on all these people, or at least most of them, to get 60% additional critical damage. If we really had to bring a Savage set in, we could, but the clan boss doesn't have really high defense, so... Savage is not going to increase it very much, but it will increase our damage overall. And we don't need much, right? We just need 71 million. We are almost there. Let's run this one more time and see if we get somewhere near 68.6 million. We are back on that second run. The reason why I like to run this two times to test it out is to see the variation. Maybe we get unlucky with Giant Slayer, War Master Procs. Maybe we get unlucky with applying debuffs. Who knows? So I at least like to run it twice here. Because we're so close. We're so close to one king. I want to see maybe maybe there was a fluke or something happened and boom, we can one key it. Okay, we're jumping forward. We're at round 49. We're at 66.5. And remember at the end there, as long as we have a burn up, which we do. Oh, I, I clipped it. I clipped this one. So 66.8. So we were at the same. This might have given us 68 or so because it, right at the end when he hits us with two hits, we're going to get that reflect damage. Okay, I, I saved the key. I was saving keys. <laughs> <laughs> here's the one key that was sent to me on discord we've got kind of the same damage that we were doing a little bit more damage on the man eater a little bit more damage over here on this other pain keeper which pain keeper doesn't do a lot of damage mind you and for i believe is geared a little bit better as well because he's doing almost 21 million so this was over a one key and using good gear. I don't know what kind of gear, but we'll do this tomorrow. We'll make the same exact team. I mean, this is a budget unkillable. A pain keeper, a man eater, a vizier, a farakin, and a geomancer to do the one key. And if you guys know of any other one keys out there without legendary champions, please let us know. I want to try those teams out. We want to make sure we can take full advantage of this new vizier that everyone got. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. If you have any questions, let us know down below. I will see you all in a video soon.